Take a look out the window. Spirit goes up as the rain falls down. I've been sitting on the wrong course. Keep it together, look at the It's cute, yeah. Yeah. Makeup part in I don't breathe. I like it. And I like how your hair is with your the color like matches. <laughs> Yeah. Again, you don't think it's a god like so wow. It's it's not wow. I kinda wish this was like more of that. Yeah. Like it's got an awkward yeah, like it goes like that and that. Yeah, we don't like this one is different. Okay guys, I think I'm gonna go with the pink dress. It fits me very nicely and it's definitely elegant enough for the red carpet. I think the color like, works on my skin tone, on my hair. Good morning guys. It is way too early in the morning. I probably look so puffy. In case you haven't watched my last vlog, I'm actually on my way to the airport to go to Venice. I'm currently in Dubai and I'm gonna attend the Venice Film Festival. But it was super sad to say bye to Ahmed this morning. This is like my first trip away as like his wife, husband and wife. I'm gonna miss him a lot. The way that he was cuddling me last night, you would think I was going to walk. Terrible things started happening when you walked away. So that's why I stay ready. We're in Venice. Are you guys ready for this view? Wow. If this doesn't scream Venice, I don't know what does. Basically guys, they didn't have a room with a view to put me in today, but fear not, we are getting moved tomorrow. Honestly, I don't really care that much about a view. It's just more like, I need natural light to get ready for this carpet. Like, look at how dark it is in here. We both saw how my hair started out today, right? Like, how did it How did it go today? I haven't even told you guys who I'm here with. I'm here with Half Magic. What you guys may know them from, the main artist on Euphoria, Donnie Davey. She's actually the founder of Half Magic. I don't know about you guys, but I am so obsessed with Euphoria. So there's two other girls that are coming on this trip with me. They're coming from the UK today, and obviously I've traveled further than them. So they're actually arriving at 8 p.m. I've not really got anything on today until 7, where I'm gonna have dinner with Michelle. She works at Half Half magic tomorrow we are gonna go explore which i'm so excited about did you guys like i can't believe that this is what venice looks like it's literally unreal like it doesn't it doesn't look like a real place i'm so happy to be here like i'm actually so happy to be here when i come on these trips like it's so surreal for me guys like it all just started out as just like this little idea sometimes life just doesn't feel real and i'm so grateful and i'm just really happy thank you for this is the outfit of the day guys, dress is from Bershka, bag is from Poland, heels are from Tony Bianco. This is where we've come for dinner. It looks so good. You guys got carbonara? Yeah. And what is this machine? It's a squid ink pasta. It is. It's soft. Whoever said it's true. We're going to explore. Where are we going? Like what's the place? The plaza. The plaza. Sunday mornings hiding under cover. Ordered an iced coffee and we were all so surprised when this is what came. We were expecting like your classic Starbucks ice with iced coffee, but apparently this is shaken iced coffee, so it should be interesting. Wow, does it need sugar? My goodness. With you It's the day, I'm walking the red carpet, I don't know how to feel. I feel like every single time I get ready these days, I'm in a little bit of a rush. It's not that bad right now, it's 1.30. Like realistically, 1.30 is completely fine. I have more than enough time, I have to be ready at like 5. It's like I have enough time, but my hairstylist comes at 2, so in half an hour. 
and I want it to have my makeup finished. And this is how I'm looking. So <laughs> clearly we're not doing very well. You know, I still can't get over how pale my face is compared to the rest of my body because obviously I wash my face so much. Really need to top up this tan. We're gonna start getting ready. I have quite a few like TikTok transitions I need to do. It's a lot of content I need to get. As excited as I am to do this today, I can't wait to go home tomorrow. I've been feeling so homesick on this trip and I never usually feel like this. Being with Ahmed at home, like obviously he's my home so I don't feel like homesick when I'm with him but to not be with him now is just making me miss everybody. I was editing my part two of my wedding vlog. I was literally just bawling my eyes out. Like I just... I've been so emotional. We need to transform how we look. The hair is looking lifeless. You know what? I'm having a really good brow day. And when you're having a good brow day, it's going to be a good day. Tell me, baby, baby, tell me what is bothering you. Tell me. So the makeup is coming along so well. I genuinely think I prefer my base today over my base for my wedding. So that's something. And the eyes, I'm just like touch wood. I'm just so happy with how the makeup has turned out and how the hair has turned out that we just need to get this dress done, Michelle. I don't know what I would do in my life without Michelle. Like she's literally steaming my dress for me. Half ready. Hi. <laughs> like what would I do without you in my life genuinely and it's the, it's like the dress it's it's not getting any better it's like it's literally the dress is bigger than both of us it's huge we were both like underneath this dress trying to iron it out and it's like starting to feel a little bit a little bit anxious wow look at you let's see the makeup oh my god you look stunning a vintage dress guys wow. That was just the most surreal experience of my entire life. Walking that carpet, I would just, I wouldn't experience that like again. Like if I could go back in time and just walk that again. My room is such a mess. I was like trying to finish my TikTok transition. So I just like shoved all my makeup. Like there's probably some makeup under the bed. I look like a bit of an egg. Maybe I should have recorded it from here because on that note guys, good night. a long way this is where the watches are gonna go in these little compartments and in these compartments they're just here to install their coffee table that they've just got so what's gonna go there if the watches go here oh bags triple a that's so cool when did you guys have that that's so nice Nice. When does your IKEA pack thing come? It's here, but you just have to assemble it. It's like shines off the floor, but the top isn't. Oh shit! Sure, yeah, it looks it looks purple. Are you guys gonna put the coffee stuff? Um, I think you should put it right there. Yeah, probably right there. It's gonna be my workspace. I'm gonna come here, chill with Triple A luxury team, <laughs> edit my vlogs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so happy for you guys. If tell them where they can find you. Because by the time this is out, it should be finished. Yeah, true. Uh, you can find us at Single Business Tower in Business Bay, um, Office 4401. And if you guys buy a watch, you might see me as well. You might. <laughs> Just tucked away here. This is what they've gone for. Basically like concrete slab, really. But it's exactly what they needed to like fit the aesthetics of the room. Because it's kind of giving industrial like the lights, the ceilings, the floors, it's very industrial so they can't really go for anything like really elegant. We are back 
plant hunting. This time we've actually come to a proper plant shop in hopes of getting a nice big plant. This is kind of the inspiration that we're going for. Something like that. These are cute. Then like what? This. This? Yeah. It's a tree, babe. That's literally a tree. That's not even gonna play in our house. Oh, wait, look, baby, look at these ones. Like this would be so cute on top of our shoe rack thing, like some, some cute little flowers. I need some cute flowers for my like. Which one? That one. Which one? This one? No, no, look. That one? Yeah. Baby, these are too big. These are trees. Oh, yeah. This is all in this one. I like that one. Do you think it's cool? Can I see this one? We are back home and now it's time to tackle the house. There's just so much to do, guys. It's like it's never ending. But I want to try and tackle this area of the home now. And nothing about this is cute. There was like a little bench thing here. Um, but I just... I don't really know what he was thinking. Said I've bought these IKEA little shoe cabinets and three of them. And we're gonna put them together and then eventually I'm gonna buy some cute little things to go on top. cleaner does that space look i don't know what's going on over here guys i don't know if the camera was picking it up but there's this really weird mark here i'm gonna have to take that up with my husband i tried to clean it but i genuinely think the paint was coming off so i don't wanna i don't wanna mess that up but so much better guys the amount of shoes that this man has these are all his that measly little corner there is mine but he has so many shoes i'm gonna have to tell him to pick some favorites that he's gonna wear regularly and put them here and then the rest can go away in the closet like we still got so many shoes mom and dad are going on a day night he just got a fresh trim he's looking fly as hell and we gotta go why you gotta kill the mood yeah 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 Miuda não te quero contranger E muito menos contra Vita longe que estás a fazer Não me queres acompanhar Um dois e três Yeah Quero ver-te a dançar mais uma vez Com os pés E o corpo todo a banar Um dois e três Yeah Quero ver-te a dançar mais uma vez Com os pés E o corpo todo a banar Não precisas do meu Basta experimentar Sei o que pode parecer Mas também sei que has de gostar Podes ficar a ver Oh my god, Mr. Ginn! Thank you, thank you! Thank you, thank you! Show the camera what you got! Oh my god, look at that! Just like Ozzy, it's crazy! so long since i've actually just sat down and spoke to you all i'm not gonna lie like a lot of days have passed 
during this weekly vlog i've been finding it so hard to just do normal day-to-day -day things i've just accepted that i'm kind of in a crush like a two-year coming crush i've not really had a break like a proper break since my masters which was like two years ago now three years ago it got to a point where it was like it wasn't just non-stop it was like you're doing a lot of big things non-stop this has been like really hard for me mentally to just stop because i feel so guilty i've been waking up at like 2 p.m sleeping at 4 doing literally nothing with my day after the wedding my phone gave me anxiety like i wasn't replying to anybody i didn't want to talk to anybody i just didn't want to be on my phone i had a lot of anxiety with that i still have anxiety with that today i finally tackled my emails i had like 300 emails i really hit that funk this week like after venice just like i just now like i really just need to chill and just do nothing like it wasn't even up to me as a decision it's just every day i would wake up and i'd be so exhausted like i would wake up have breakfast and then need to take a nap afterwards like it, it was just insane we actually decided to have some blood work done me and ahmed both we had a blood test done the other day and it's like a full panel blood test and of course guys obviously i have low iron and my basophils were elevated guys i actually had so much fun reading my own report and Ahmed. That's coming from my medical background. I actually really miss it. I mean, I did clinical immunology. Like, this was literally in my field. So my throat's been feeling a little bit funny. I've just been, like, ill as well. I'm really down bad right now. But at the same time, I feel like I'm getting it together and I'm on an upwards trajectory now. One thing that I've been, like, putting a lot of effort into is my vlogs like i've been so consistent with editing them posting them i've not been posting on tiktok on instagram yeah, so my day today has just been a bit weird but we have been hanging out a lot with friends as well one of his friends hosted for us the other day and we had some iraqi food with some kurdish food and it was just it was so nice guys like it was really nice to chill with everybody because i've been feeling really homesick the two days after I came back from Venice, well actually on the plane back from Venice, I just got so emotional that I just started like crying and I literally was like, I just need to go to sleep because I will just sob on this plane. When I came back those two days, I was so sad. I cried myself to sleep both those nights. I feel like I could cry right now. <laughs> and I'm trying God not to. Girl, get it together. I feel like the first two weeks of coming from Kurdistan and coming here with like a fever dream because we've just come off the high of the wedding. There was like so many things in the home to sort out and so many things here to get used to. And I'm like, it's my first time in Dubai. And then when I went to Venice, I was just by myself and I feel like Ahmed was like the plug that was like keeping my emotions together and stopping me from feeling homesick because I hadn't seen him for so long so to spend time with him I was like really happy to just be around him. But once I came back, like so much time had passed. It's like only just hitting me that I'm not going to see everybody for a little bit of a while and it doesn't help that my sister and my brother both of these awful people keep sending me these really emotional tiktoks like both of them there was literally a tiktok that's like send this to your younger sister and Ruja sent me that and then there was the exact same creator that did one for send this to your older sister and Lauk sent me that so yeah they're not really helping my case i guess it's just a lot to get used to like there's a very big change that has happened i'm just happy that i truly do love it here because if i didn't then i think i would have a really hard time i'm not gonna lie to you guys after this vlog i'm gonna go and cry my eyes out because this is getting really emotional actually let's not do that let's not do that there's a lot of great things that have happened in this home as well first and foremost we got our lights installed so that's the kitchen light you know that's a terrible way to show you guys let me show you properly i honestly wasn't vibing <laughs> with this orange bulb but Ahmed was like, they're like smoky orange bulb. And then this is the matching one that goes above the living room. We also got this new tap installed because the other one was just so annoying, guys. And look at this one. It drags down. It also has two different settings. That and that. And then, I don't know what that is actually. Does that just stop it? And we can finally use this shower. We got the glass door installed today. We've not been using this shower at all okay let's talk honeymoon have i mentioned it on this vlog i'm not sure but we were planning on going to mauritius the only issue is kind of rainy at the moment in mauritius i don't know if it's that rainy but in the seychelles it's rainy in the maldives it's rainy so we're like should we just put that on pause and go in october and plus i do have my birthday at the end of this month my birthday is on the 30th should we just get settled into the home and get into a routine 
I think that's what I really need guys like just a normal routine I'm such a routine person but I really just need a break and I was saying that to Ahmed like I just need to be in the sun laying by a pool doing nothing so he had a great idea and he was like let's go to Naraya Island and it's just off of Abu Dhabi I think it's a super nice place like once you guys see it because you're obviously gonna come with us it's literally like heaven I'm so excited to go we're gonna go for two nights and we're going tomorrow I'm a bit sad that I'm a little bit ill but I'm not really ill so I'm like trying to like convince myself mentally that I'm okay so that I can be okay tomorrow I actually bought some clothes from Namshi is it called Namshi? some cute little summer dresses off of there and I've still not tried them guys that's how you know I'm not okay because I'm that girl that as soon as I've got my packages I'm trying on all those clothes whether I look pretty or not like even if I'm not feeling myself I'm like I just need to try should we go try them on together? That would be kind of fun. Okay, we've got two packages here. And I honestly can't even really remember what I ordered. This is outfit number one. Just like a cute summer dress. I love yellows and bright colors for summer and especially on holidays. I'm not completely sold on this, guys. Something about this top bit, it's not looking too right for me. Like, I feel like it could, like, hug my body a bit better on the top. I do love the concept of the dress though. Like I love the tiered style. I love how fluttery it is. When I think of a summer dress, this is what I think of. How cute will these earrings be with it? Wait, hold on. I cannot cope, they're so cute. Like imagine this dress with these earrings. Okay, this one is from the same brand. The color, I'm obsessed with this color. I love the style. Again, I don't think the execution is very well done. This band, elastic band here, it just doesn't cinch you in and make you feel like a skinny queen. Really wanted to wear this to like a nice sunset dinner. I might still wear it. Okay, this next one, my sister hated when I showed her this. But I think it's kind of cute, guys. I really like it. I think she's being dramatic. Am I, am I tripping guys? Here's the print up clothes. I think it's cute. So I think I'm actually gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. I'm gonna take it easy for the rest of the night and then I will see you guys in next week's vlog where tomorrow we're gonna be up bright and early and we're gonna go on our little staycation. It should be lots of fun. I'm super excited for a nice little break and to bring you guys along. Thank you guys for watching yet another weekly vlog. I love you all so much. Bye bye.